Hey, hi, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com. Today, I'm going to introduce a new tool called Catalon. Uh, so you must have heard of this tool and it has been uh, used by many companies now. And uh, nowadays, it's very popular due to its functionality and ease of use. So let me introduce Catalon Studio. It's a complete test automation framework for you. So in this tutorial, I will be covering what exactly Catalon is and uh, <clears throat> what exactly the features and how we can use it. So let me show you the high level agenda. So first of all, we'll talk about what is Catalon Studio, features of Catalon Studio, how Catalon can help you in the test automation, or if you have any existing framework, how you can replace your framework with this tool. It's up to you whether you want to replace it or not, or you want to use Catalon separately. It's up to your choice. How to download and start Catalon Studio, a quick tour of this tool, how to use uh, different panels, different views of this tool. Then we'll create our first script using, uh, there are two options. Either you can record the complete script or you can uh, create your script manually as well. Right? Now we will also see how we can run our script using Catalon and finally we'll talk about the logs or report. Okay, so let's start with Catalon Studio. First of all, it's completely free. You don't have to pay even a single penny. You can download and start using it and you will fall in love with this tool because you will get so many inbuilt functions, libraries and very rich UI which will <clears throat> help you to automate faster and maintenance will be very easy. So Catalon Studio is a tool which is developed by KMS Technology and uh, this, cat, this tool, which is Catalon Studio, will help you to automate web-based application in different browsers with different OS. You can also automate mobile applications, which it can be native application or hybrid application. And the very unique part of this tool, it will also support, uh, support API testing as well. So if you have some REST APIs or other APIs, you can test using Catalon. So if you have worked on Selenium, then you must have faced so many issues like sync issues, pop-up handling, frame uh, switching to frame and so on. So Catalon have very good libraries. It handles most of the issues automatically and for others, they have very rich libraries which you can start using it. And uh, after a few minutes, you will see it has very rich user-friendly UI. Okay, so which will allow users or testers to automate test cases efficiently and another information Catalon is built on top of Eclipse so you, the complete feel you will get of Eclipse only so if you have worked on Eclipse then you will get the similar kind of feel because it built on top of Eclipse only after downloading I will show you so now what are the different features of these two once you start using it, then you will get the real features. As of now, theoretically, it's hassle-free deployment, quick and easy setup. So you will get a small zip file, which you have to just unzip. You will get a small exe and just run it. That's all. You don't need separate drivers for every browser. You don't have to worry about different configuration files and others. It's just one-click deployment. Just double-click and your studio is ready. Better and fast result here, you can create and maintain your test cases efficiently. You will get a separate structure for the test cases, for the test data, test suites and reports. You will get a pure structure and very easy to use, uh, I will say, structure. Okay, you can segregate the test case with test suite, test data, configuration file, reports, everything. Flexible mode, you can run the test cases, you can debug your test cases and you will get the different modes here. Okay, you can also uh, change your configuration settings, email settings, you can send the reports. So very flexi modes are present here, which I will be showing you in upcoming tutorials. Multi OS application, it supports right now OS X, which is Mac OS and Windows. It also support different browsers. So it works on mobile browsers, plus it works on all the latest available browsers and easy of use you will see in few minutes so let me uh, show you exactly from where you can download and start using it 
so first of all you have to visit catalon.com and by default you will not get your account here so if you open catalon.com so first of all you need to create account here this account is just to activate your product so when you click on download it will ask you to fill certain details just your full name email id and password just remember this email and password because the same credentials you have to use while activating the product once you fill these details and when you click on download you will get this option you will get three different options as of now windows 32 windows 64 and mac os so in this video i will be showing you windows 64 bit and uh, they also have recommended this plus the current version which i am using is 4.8.0 the new version is again is coming 4.9.0 which also has so many new features as well which again i will cover in the upcoming tutorials as of now when you click on accept and download you will get a exe file or i guess zip file you will get initially then you will get uh, you can see the downloading already started i will stop this because i already have the zip file in my system so you will get the zip file in this format okay catalan studio windows 64 4.8 version now the next step you just have to unzip this when you unzip this you will get all these files okay you can see here i am getting two exe file one is eclipse.exe one is catalon.exe so since it built on top of eclipse that's the reason you're getting all this now you will also see one ini file it's a configuration file for catalon as of now you don't have to worry about other settings just for information i can show you <clears throat> okay now if you see they have so many plugins which they internally use so we don't have to worry about it but yes if you see internally so many plugins are already present in this bundle apart from this you will get one other p2 folder you will get the jre folder which internally used by catalon and this is the configurations again you just have to double click on catalon.exe it will take some time to start my system is quite slow so it's taking some time in the meanwhile i will show you some of the features if you go they have very good tutorials so if you open this in a new link so they have a resource center where you will find the separate tutorials from getting started test design test execution advanced and the configuration level you can see it's uh, starting and if you are completely new then you can visit how to get started different overview how to run on mac how to create api project and uh, in the design part also they have how to run your test case how to create a test case in a script mode and uh, manual mode how to do record and playback how to integrate with different tools also they have mentioned here so they have very good resource center plus if you see the versions the release notes so they started with 3.1 then 3.2 and the latest is 4.8 which we are using again 4.9 is coming so you will see they are releasing uh, the new version very frequently with the new features and if you see the keyword indexes let me show you the 4.8 which we are using okay so they have done all this enhancement for this particular release Jira integration mobile testing test cases part they have changed and now they have done for Linux also I guess you can see here for Linux OS still taking some time that's fine and if you see here the keyword index they have so many inbuilt library for web UI so you can see they have for alerts attributes browsers for web services also they have so many inbuilt library same for mobile and some common libraries as well these are for mobiles and uh, okay now it is asking you to allow the access so yes you can allow access
okay apart from this if you check the user guide so from st installation till the web service you will get the tutorials so you don't have to depend on me after this tutorial you can directly start using this catalon and yes after few seconds based on your system performance it will start and it will ask you to start or activate your product so if you remember we have registered so i will quickly provide my credentials here and click on activate so it will validate and it will activate your product okay so now you can see they have uh, some self guide you can see they have given tutorial FAQ user guide if you want you can go through it otherwise I will show you all so this is one quick guide they have explained the navigation just go through it one by one anyways I will explain everything in this tutorial so once you're done with the user guide let's fun automating so click on ok and it is asking you to create a new project but before starting the project let me show you a couple of things so this is your text explorer where your test part will come here your test cases test suite everything will come okay apart from this if you see here we will also get one keyword browser okay this is the keyword browsers here if you open the same thing which I just showed you will find here for alerts they have so many methods for browsers they have so many methods start browser close browser delete cookies for check boxes they have combo box which is nothing but your drop down you can see very meaningful methods they have created and so many other libraries too so this is for your web UI same thing for mobile you will get you can see and finally for web services so this view which is keyword browser will guide you what the, what are the different keywords which they have and these are the utilities which they have like if you want to add some if else statements looping statement branching statements exception handling code and so on okay so now one more thing is property once you start working with the web elements you will see this as well as of now I will just go to text explorer and I will create a new project see they already have one sample project so you can see here they have created three sample projects one for web UI one for mobile testing and the one for web services let me show you with the sample one or maybe I can create a fresh so I will just go to this file section click on new and create a new project and name I will provide my first catalon project description I will say this is my first catalon project click on ok and once you click on ok it will take some time and it will create a folder structure complete structure for you still taking some time okay you will get this kind of project so the project have different structure so you will get the test cases here you will get the object repository test suites data files checkpoints keywords and the final reports as of now it's a fresh project so you will not get anything here uh, so let me create one test case so first of all you can see here we have multiple options okay if you want to create any test case test suite, you can directly start from here or you can directly start from here you will see one option called spy web spy mobile so this is for locating the web elements and for locating mobile web mobile elements now again record web record mobile so you can record and play back mobile devices too then you have for running debugging stop and there's one more feature called build CMD this is one of the most important feature I will show you in the upcoming tutorials you can create a batch file and you can run your test from command prompt and it will send email with attached report 
you can also integrate with git and jira as well so as of now i will be using this application okay since it's my first video i will take only the login page in upcoming videos will take some complex uh, scenarios as well so in this video i will show you how you can record and if you want to go in manual way like creating from scratch that also we will cover so as of now let's click on record web okay so now we will be using this particular url so orange hrm that is for demo so you can get multiple options to record so i will try to cover every possible uh, browser so let's start recording in i browser so when you click on i uh, this will start and now you can see this even highlighting the web elements so let's say if i log in with admin admin and click on login and let's close the browser okay so you will see here these options will come so you can uh, click on stop okay so these are the recorded steps so we navigated here then we clicked on a username so it's even capturing my left click right click right so you can see it has captured these four properties a username password and submit button now if you want to see in detail let's say username it has captured all these properties xpath name id text in the same way for this and same way for button xpath name id type class and this value as well when you click on ok it will ask you this is the very important feature so it is following the page object model so based on the pages it is uh, segregating the locator so by default it is creating one page called page orange HRM if you wish you can create a new folder and you can say let's say uh, login page and you can keep all the locator in that page as of now since it is taking automatically I will keep as default page orange HRM and these four locators and it will add into this object repository now it is asking what should be the test case name so I will say login test case and I will say valid login and I can add any tag here so as of now tag is not required click on ok so you can see this is my test case which is ready and these are the steps which it captured this is the object repository now let me navigate one by one okay as of now test suite all are blank as of now only the login test case if you see these are the items which are nothing but the keywords which object what should be the input and output as of now we are not validating anything so output is blank if you see here right now it's open browser closed browser but if you want to see what others properties or methods they have so you can see they have bunch of methods with very meaningful name so wait for query load and very good thing like they have given the proper documentation of each and every keyword so let's say i want to check this verify element present visible verify if given web element is visible or not let's say i want to check oh uh, get alert text so it will automatically capture the alert text and all these methods have the very unique functionality and very good documentation as well okay so as of now not required so i will add one step called start the browser or open the browser and this i will keep on top right open browser navigate to this url click see I don't need click so I can remove it captured my click as well but I need open browser navigate set text username password and click on submit button right now if you go back here this is uh, let's see username by default it has captured so many things so tag xpath name id and we can also say that also use xpath for identifying this particular text same thing for password even for password I can select select 
or the all these properties so if something is changed it will take the next property and it will try in the same way you will get for everything if you wish you can check them so by default catalon will try with all these locators right so i have a test case ready i have a page uh, object model where i have the locators so it is behaving as object repository now this is the main part as of now you can see this is coming as manual mode but if you click on a script, it will show you the exact script which internally generated by Catalon. So you can see web UI dot open browser, close browser, navigate to URL. This is the URL set text. This is find test object and this is coming from object repository. This is the username, password and submit button. Don't worry if you want to write your own code as well. You can give her, you can write since it is working on top of eclipse only so all the keyboard shortcuts will remain same if you put dot operator you will see all these methods which catalon guys have created you can access okay so once we talk about how we can create test cases manually using catalon we'll discuss this approach like click this image and all these methods which they have created are very useful As of now, I will not add any step because we are simply doing the record playback. If you click here variables, we have not used any global variables as such. As of now, we have not integrated, but you can see here we can integrate with QTest and the Jira as well. And these are the properties of your test suite and the test case. Okay, so this is about the test case I have uh, shown all these modes now if you want to run just double click here you can see this option so if you remember I recorded in i browser but I can run in any browser so I can run in Chrome Firefox Safari Edge remote even headless Android and if you use Mac OS you will also get one option for iOS I have recorded in i browser so let me run the same test in Chrome browser Okay, you will see a log viewer here. You can see double click on it, and you can see our test is started, it is evaluating, and it will run step by step. So, step one was open browser internally, these are the three steps. Browser started, and you will see in the left hand side parallelly, it is running and it is marking the test cases each step pass or fail login done yeah and it will close and you can see here individually step has been passed and the once the complete test done it will show you the green and if you see each step has some internal actions so you will get some uh, options here do you want to expand all this is expand collapse okay and this is if you don't want in tree structure mode you will see one option here called scroll lock okay you will get everything in this mode in this particular mode if you want only the pass part you can filter here just remove all and only say pass okay if you want every info like you not need the info steps as well just click on it Generally, we are interested in past steps, so you can see here everything is passed. Now, you should ask me where is the report part, Mukesh. Then, before jumping into report, let me show you a very handy feature. We created test case, we have object repository. Now, we can create our test suite. Okay, this test suite name I will give as a uh, smoke scenario or a smoke test. In the smoke test suite, I can assign n number of test cases right based on my requirement as of now I have only one test case so what I will do in this smoke test suite I will click on add and I will add the test case which we created just now you can see here and you can also see whether you want to run or not let's say if you have five six test cases and you want to run one or two you can select this checkbox if I say run now again I will get multiple options to run right so let me run the same again in Chrome browser. 
again it will take some time and it will start the test so as of now i have showed only the log viewer right now if you check on the console as well it will start writing your logs like it is taking the chrome driver okay it is setting all these properties now it is navigating all the steps which we are executing you can see here on the console and i'm assuming the test is running fine yes and yes closing the browser and the test case which is login test case and test suite which is smoke test suite and we're done same thing you'll find in log viewer okay if you want all you can click on all otherwise only click on the past steps okay yeah so now if you want to check out the report just close this and just open this report and you will see the report uh, parent folder is smoke test suite based on your test suite name and here you will see the report is coming in different format okay let me uh, yeah so when you double click on this report you will see you can filter here whether you want past test case failed test cases as of now we when we click pass only pass one is coming now this is the summary part which test uh, suit we executed which test case we executed host name catalon version start date end date so on execution settings here if you notice we uh, these are the by default settings if you want to change i will show you how you can change them and this is the execution environment and now if you want to see in html format just right click and click on open containing folder and you can see here we have format in different uh, like report in different format like json xml html csv so let me open the parent report report.html and you will see every step it is coming here this is the complete report if you want to click on expand all it will expand all and if you want to see how it looks in different uh, format so this is your CAC format okay this is your keywords this is the description start date end date duration and individually step pass or fail don't save and you can also check in XML JSON both will remain safe so you can see how beautifully it is running our test I record in in I browser executed in Chrome you can also run in Firefox and headless mode as well so other keywords also are important once we move forward we'll cover everything okay and we recorded the script you can also write manual script you can also record in mobile now let me also show you a couple of things here before closing this video let's say you want to email once you're done with the test case okay so you can see here they have given very beautiful template which you can customize or modify so this email like this template will come as email you can change this is your company name test uh, report name all this name you can change and this text also you can change this is the default template which they already have given okay you can just change this host port username password to whom you uh, to whom you want to send email what should be the objects uh, subject and so on execution so these are the some execution settings okay if you want to run in Chrome if you want to change anything you can give here in case if you want to integrate with Jira and QTest you will find all the settings here this is the report part and this is you can see one important thing enable video recorder so if you click on this it will record each and everything it will give you a video okay and you can also select you want video quality low medium high which format you want 
and you can also select when you want that video if you click on only for the failed or you can also select only for the past test cases if you don't want by default this will be checked take a screenshot when the execution failed this I will show you right now okay and uh, these are the test cases settings okay default failure handling for stop on failure if you don't want to stop on failure you can select this continue on failure so even if some of the elements are not matching it will continue to run optional database monitoring so many things okay let me show you one more thing then we can close this part one part at least so what I will do, I will go to this test case and forcefully I will make certain changes. So you, if I go to my user password, let's say I want to take only X path. And this I will change to Mukesh. Now definitely it will fail right because I have selected that I want only XPath and XPath I have changed and I will click on save all and I will go and run my test. So it is launching my test. This tool is very uh, I will say very big tool so it will take some time for you to explore all this. Just go through this uh, steps, sorry, these options one by one. I will show you one more property here. Let's run this test. You can see one more option will come here called job progress, previous jobs which we executed, current job status. And this, you can, this time you can see it is failing because it is not entering the password because we have changed the X path. Okay, so by default it will wait for some seconds because internal some implicit wait has been given here. Yes, you can see here now it failed here. It says unable to find. So this particular step failed and you can see failure 1. Okay. Now if you uh, refresh uh, in order to get the reports again you have to execute from the test suite then only it will generate the report okay so let me go and set uh, go to this stop on failure I will make it okay and the report part take a screenshot now let's click on ok and run the test again Okay, in order to get the reports, you have to run from the test suite, then only you will get the report. Okay, this is the console part which we are checking and you can see it is trying to find X path with this ID in 30 seconds by default implicit wait which they have set is 30 seconds it is waiting 30 seconds and after 30 seconds it will fail if you wish you can change this uh, implicit wait part and finally it says unable to set because root causes is not able to find that's perfectly fine and final test case failed now let's go and check the report refresh yes another uh, another report is ready okay this complete test case failed and you can see here this step fail and automatically it is capturing the screenshot if you click on the video recording as well it will 
attach the video recording as well okay so it's very handy tool i will recommend everyone to just give it a try at least once you will find so many features here Okay, so as of now we test test cases, we also test object repository, we test test feeds, we also test the reporting part. There are so many things to explore, I will try to cover. Now, before closing, if you go to Windows, you will see, uh, first of all, Catalan Studio Preferences. By default, you can write here either in Java or Groovy. Okay, so for java you have all these settings for groovy you have all these settings you will find a separate thing for catalon here okay so for execution if you uh, wish to change any settings like default implicit weight what should be the default browser open report by default post execution once you are done with the test case terminate driver after each test case after each test suite notify me you can change the git settings okay and for mobile settings also you can provide where's the apm located and all object spy what keyboard shortcuts you want to keep proxy settings okay for recorder which browser default you want to take team collaboration and for the test case and the utilities okay there's so many things to explore uh, if you have some time just go through them one by one and you will find everything is self-explanatory you will find a couple of tutorials from their site so try to explore this okay that's all i have for this video if you like this tool you can start downloading from today itself and start using it if you find any difficulty just drop an email to mukesh otwani at that learn and I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.